Yellowstone's hyperactive geyser is not a warning sign of a real super eruption. Yellowstone's famous steamboat geyser has drawn attention and concern after it was discovered that the world's tallest natural fountain has been unusually active lately. However, new research suggests that it may not be a warning sign that the massive supervolcano beneath the region is about to erupt. The geyser, which can shoot water up to 300 feet into the air, has erupted three times in the past six weeks, including the most recent on Friday. Before this latest series of eruptions, the geyser had not erupted since September 2014. All indications are that there is no reason to worry, as most geysers are unpredictable and Steamboat's recent eruption was actually smaller than usual. There is no sign of an imminent volcanic eruption, Michael Poland, a scientist at the U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, told Reuters. But there is reason to worry considering the last time Steamboat erupted three times in one year, let alone in six weeks. The Yellowstone caldera is literally a bomb buried in our backyard that will one day explode and devastate the surrounding area, we just don't know when, unless, of course, the caldera is actually dying right now. Of course, any strange geological behavior deserves a high level of attention given the stakes, right? Fortunately, new research first published on April 19 finds that supervolcano eruptions are preceded by quite a bit of dramatic warning. We're talking about big, scary developments that go far beyond three warning shots from a single geyser. As new magma begins to rejuvenate a supervolcano system, we can expect to see massive uplift, faulting, and earthquake activity, said University of Illinois geology professor Patricia Gregg, a co-author of the study published in Geophysical Research Letters. Much larger than the meter scale events we've seen lately. We're talking tens to hundreds of meters of uplift. Even then, our models predict that the system will expand for hundreds to thousands of years before we see a major eruption. So the warning signs of a major Yellowstone eruption will be on the horizon, because they could literally change the landscape of the region by uplifting and reshaping the entire landscape itself. Rather than shooting water 300 feet into the air, a restless caldera is more likely to drain the same geysers and push the land itself 300 feet into the air. And these disturbing warning signs should last for centuries before the whole thing explodes. So there's no need to worry about backyard bombs, at least for now. People need to remember that sites like Yellowstone are extremely well monitored, Cabinus said. It's also important to note that our research shows that the entire rejuvenation process leading up to an eruption will take several or more human lifetimes. Our models suggest that there should be plenty of warning. Observatory scientists will watch Steamboat closely over the next several months using a mix of satellite images, on-site temperature gauges and seismometers to gauge any possibility of a thermal disturbance, which the article notes is impossible to determine as of now. A recent study found that volcanic activity in Yellowstone could come from a 200-mile-wide column of upwelling material deep beneath Earth's surface known as a mantle plume which may drive the park's hydrothermal springs and geysers.